Hi everybody, welcome to another Spark video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a verse that a lot of people are quoting nowadays. We're talking about Esther 4.14, so let's go ahead and read that verse. So here it is. Uh, for if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from, an, uh, from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. So, we are living in a very strange time. Everything is very odd and very disconnected, disjointed. We're all still um, walking around wearing masks, so we're not really seeing each other's faces. Um, we're staying distanced. We are staying at home and we're working from home, so we're not really seeing people. Um, it, it just feels very strange. What comes with that is a lot of chaos seems to be coming around. You know, businesses are closing. Um, things like that. Um, and it is a very almost frustrating time for people. I want to encourage you and say that it is very possible that you were indeed created for such a time as this. God has something for you to do during this time um, that he really wants to use you to do. Now, one of the things we tend to ignore when we look at this verse is that first part. That first part that says, if you remain silent, Deliverance will come from another place, and you and your family's house will perish. You and your father's house, I'm sorry, will perish. So what, what that's saying is, you know, God has something for you to do, but he could use someone else. If he does use that other person, though, you're going to miss out on that blessing. Um, you're going to miss out on whatever it is God really had for you. So really be encouraged. Whatever God is telling you to do, if it's frightening, if it's uncomfortable, if it's something that you don't normally think of, um, I want you to go ahead and just do it um, because you are created for such a time as this. If you believe in God and you live in this time period, then you were created for this. He didn't mistakenly put you in 2020. <laughs> he put you here for a reason. So what am I saying in this? Just simple. Be encouraged. If there is something that God is pressing you to do, do it. Don't wait for God to pick someone else to do it and miss out on the chance to be blessed or for your family to even be blessed. But be encouraged. You were created for such a time as this. You have a gift. You have a purpose. And they are for now. All right. Well, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next week for another Spark video. Bye.